Hi, I'm Josh. Thanks for joining me as we walk through ExpressVPN. By the end of this time, I hope you'll have a good idea of what ExpressVPN looks like, how it works, and whether or not it's the right choice for you. This time is going to be broken out into three different parts. The first is a quick review, since I've already done a more in-depth review before, followed by a desktop setup tutorial, and then a mobile setup tutorial. Jump ahead to either of these parts that you need to watch by using the time markers you see here. So with that, let's go ahead and begin with a quick review. Instead of diving into a full review, which you can find a link to in the description, let's just cover the main pros and cons of ExpressVPN. They're easy to use, with an incredibly simple user interface that you'll see later, and part of what makes them so user-friendly is that they offer dedicated apps for pretty much every device. ExpressVPN uses 256-bit encryption over the industry-standard OpenVPN, and they boast a network of over 60 servers across 40 different countries. They claim no logging, although pretty much every VPN provider says this, and they do allow peer-to-peer -peer and BitTorrent downloading. Best of all, and this is a major selling point for them, ExpressVPN offers a no-questions-asked 30-day money-back guarantee. That's a huge plus. Now on the flip side, ExpressVPN is quite limited in terms of options such as internet kill switch or varying levels of encryption, which the average person doesn't care about anyway. Simultaneous connections are limited and they're also a bit pricier than the average VPN, but that's something I think they make up for by being such a plug and play VPN. Finally, within closed countries like China and the Middle East, I have had a few minor connection issues, but to their credit, ExpressVPN support took care of them quickly and frankly, every VPN is prone to these kinds of connection issues in these places. If you prefer a VPN that is plug and play, easy to use and works well whether you want to download content, stream content, secure yourself, or just bypass firewalls, ExpressVPN is a great option. At the very least, you can give them a try and you have a full 30 days to decide how you like it. Click the button below to check current pricing options. All right, welcome to the computer setup tutorial for ExpressVPN. I'm gonna walk you through from purchase to installation so that you can see the entire process and how it looks like for ExpressVPN. And that starts on their homepage. After I click the Get ExpressVPN button, I can see that they offer one month, 12 month, and six month plans. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose one month, enter my email address, and then select my preferred method of payment. They accept credit card, PayPal, Bitcoin, and a few others, but for me, PayPal is the easiest. And as they direct me to the PayPal site, I want to make note of the fact that I'm never going to open my email account through this process. Most of the time, with most VPN providers that I've used, I'm waiting for some sort of email to come in to my email account that has maybe an activation code or a link that I need to click. But for this process, at least with PayPal, once I click Agree and Pay, they will direct me to the ExpressVPN page with my account, everything already loaded. And that includes download links, activation codes, everything that I need. Now in this case, I'm using a Mac OS X, so I'm going to download that software, and then you see below they also have the activation code for me. As you notice, the download of this file was very quick. It's a small file, and as I go through the installation process, it's also not going to take up a whole lot of space on my hard drive. I think it takes something like 10 megabytes of space. And the installation on my hard drive really doesn't take that long, as you can see here. Once the installation is successful and complete, I'm going to close this um, window and it's going to pop up with something asking for my activation code. So I'm going to copy and paste that activation code back into the box here and it's going to be downloading the configuration files, all of my servers, and that's as simple, it doesn't get more simple than that. I'm going to walk you through real quick just looking at the software. On the right side you can see all of my different server options. On the left I can run a speed test. Now for me the quickest server is going to be in Los Angeles so I'm going to click and connect on Los Angeles and within just a few seconds I'm going to be connected to a VPN and securely surfing the internet. Alright welcome to the mobile setup tutorial for ExpressVPN. In this case, I'm going to be using my Apple iPad, so I'm going to click on the App Store and search for ExpressVPN, but if you're using an Android or some other device, they do offer dedicated apps for a lot of different platforms, so just search for ExpressVPN, and they're usually going to be the first ones that come up. So I'm going to install here, and while I'm in the process of installing the app, I'm going to go back to the ExpressVPN My Account page and look for the iOS portion of that. And the reason I'm doing this is because they're going to give me a specific password to use for the app. So that when I launch the app and it asks for my credentials, that's the password that I'm going to use. 
Now, the ExpressVPN app itself doesn't serve much purpose other than to give me my install profile for the VPN. So what this means is as I'm logging in, it's going to send me to Safari, the ExpressVPN page, and then Safari is automatically going to direct me to my settings page. You don't have to do anything during this process other than once we hit this settings page, it's going to ask me if I want to install the profile. I do. Despite all the warnings, I'm going to go ahead and install. And what's great about ExpressVPN is that instead of having to individually install every server, when I finish installing this profile, as you're going to see in a moment, I'm going to click on VPN and I'm going to see all of the different VPN servers available to me. Now, right now I've got the Los Angeles one, which is perfect for me. I'm going to connect and once it's connected, you're going to see the VPN on the top left hand corner. That's it. Once I'm finished with this process, I'm going to go ahead and delete the app since, like I said, it doesn't serve any other purpose. And now I'm ready to go. I'm connected to the internet. Thank you so much for listening. I hope that this was a helpful tutorial. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet purchased ExpressVPN, remember, they have a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can use the button you see here to check out their pricing and plans and find out if it's the right one for you.